hey guys uh first of all welcome back to my channel i'm not feeling too well today but i will explain why so i felt like today would be a perfect opportunity to have another episode of not so short stories with danielle so i think this is episode three of not so short stories but today i'm going to be talking about um the intensity of concussions so um last year i had two concussion i had two back-to-back -back concussions they were really something awful like they put me out of the water for a really long time it took me a long time to get better from them um they messed up my vision for a while i had to wear glasses uh, my memory i noticed wasn't the same as it used to be just like a bunch of things um from these concussions that happened that were just like not fun and um, unfortunately, something that I've developed since that is I get really intense migraines when I'm tired. And so being a high performance athlete, that is kind of a bit of a problem because as an athlete, we're supposed to be pushing our bodies to new limits and we're supposed to be training really hard. But what I'm coming to realize is that when I push my body hard, it doesn't adapt well to that and it doesn't like it anymore and um so this year has been really hard because i've been trying to figure out the balance of like how hard do i push myself without ending up with a migraine and being sick on the bathroom floor so this week i've had three migraines in the past four days which kind of has really sucked because i haven't really been able to train at all and i've just been in my bed sleeping um this whole week and seemingly not getting any better which kind of sucks when you're trying really hard to get better and it's just your body's not cooperating at all and you just feel nauseous and blah, 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 all that stuff it really kind of got me thinking about the purpose of why we go through things and why sometimes when we ask the question of like why is this happening to me why is this not ending why is it always me blah 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 and we don't always know why it's happening it kind of got me thinking about that so i'm a christian and something that i've been really thinking about is that in this life we go through things and we go through a lot of trials and setbacks and we don't always get to know the reasons why and it oftentimes it just seems unfair but i was listening to this sermon um, by pastor rick warren he's super cool really drops a lot of spiritual truth um you can go check them out if you want i'll link the sermon that i was listening to in the description you guys can go check it out so anyways he said something that was really profound that really got me thinking and he said it is completely okay to ask god why you're going through something and how long you have to go through something and why is it happening to you but then he said the real issue is is what are you going to do when you don't get an answer and that is where I'm finding myself at today. Life just does that to you and it kind of gets really frustrating. And um, it has been making me think a lot about the topic of faith. And I think the key is that, is that when we don't get these answers, will you trust God even without them? And will you trust the process of where you're going even if you don't know what is going to happen? And like something that i'm realizing is that we are going to be tested over and over and we're going to go through a lot of things that we wish probably that we wouldn't have to go through like what I'm, my main point here is is that this idea of faith and it's like do i i question myself is like do i have enough faith to trust that i will make it through this do i have enough faith in trusting the purpose without knowing all the answers and do i have faith in persevering through this even though i don't know what's going to be on the other side of this or how long this is going to take so there's a verse in the bible from hebrews 11 verse 1 i think and it says faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance in what we do not see so what i'm learning is that i want to share this tidbit with you is that faith is a lot more than just knowing all the answers yes you can suffer for a little bit but you don't always get the answers even when you are suffering or even when you are going through some testing period. And so having faith that however long your trial is or however long your circumstance goes for, that on the other side of it, whenever that will be, that it'll be something good. Also, 
knowing that you're not going to always be able to see what that thing is, but it's having faith that you will get there and that you are developing a character, you're developing perseverance, you're enduring through a lot of things. Um, and these tests that come into your life are just building that, even when you don't feel good, <laughs> like today. <laughs> yeah, those are just my thoughts. Um, if you have ever had a concussion or if you've ever thought about them, they really suck and they come with a lot more baggage than expected. Anyways, the point of this not so short story is that I have had migraines this whole week and it has not been the funnest week so if you could send your prayers that would be wonderful and also if you guys aren't having a great week either just pop down a comment and I would love to be able to pray for you guys and just come alongside you and what you're going through because we're all going through our own stuff and I'm just sharing about mine hopefully to let you guys know that you if you're going through your own thing you're not alone so that is my not so short story for the day anyways I hope you are having a better week than I am I pray that you guys are tackling life like a bunch of bosses that you are and keep shining your lights because that's what we're about here so shine away friends <laughs> and i'm gonna go to sleep and hopefully feel better tomorrow so